It is the show that has changed superstars' lives. This is NXT. The future is here, and the future is now. Oh, this gentleman has superstar written all over him. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Hagerstown, Maryland. Weighing in at 240 pounds. L.A. Knight was a top name in NXT the moment he arrived. Well, believe me, it won't be long before the entire WWE Universe knows L.A. Knight's name. Two decades of experience, uh, top titles won throughout the world. Definitely set to grab headlines here in WWE is L.A. Knight. Wow, feast your eyes. A one-of-a-kind Croatian Titan, ready to stomp out the opposition. And his opponent, from Kingsboro, Massachusetts, weighing in at 270 pounds, Dominic Dijakovic. Well, he endeared himself to the WWE Universe and his peers with classic NXT matches. Dijakovic earned incredible respect through his hard work. A remarkable blend of size and agility. Yeah, he moves like a man half his size. And yeah, Dijakovic can also take to the skies. That makes him a rather intimidating opponent. And here's a man who has enough confidence for frankly an entire locker room. LA Knight. <clears throat> Let me talk to him, Cole. This man is an old-school throwback in a new-school age. The cars, the cashola, the charisma, the pure God-given ability to win matches. They don't really make him like LA Knight anymore, and that is a testament to the man himself. Well, Corey's excited, and I'll be honest, so am I. Let's see what all the hype is about. But he'll be taking on an individual who's turning a lot of heads as of late. Dijakovic is determined right now. He's gained a level of popularity that is steadily growing week by week, and he wants to prove that the hype is legitimate. Insulting. And Dijakovic's firmly in command. Dijakovic is determined right now. Enough already. Into the corner now. Oh, strikes with the back elbow. Now he's been put on the defensive. Incredible standing corkscrew moonsault. Wow. Well framed standing moonsault. Setting it up. Thunderous clothesline. display of athleticism. Knight doesn't have any room to recover. Knight is going to have to dig down deep here. Oh! We often talk about the smash mouth style of LA Knight, but his athleticism sometimes gets overlooked. Corey, which aspect of his entering game do you think will be the most integral here? Athleticism is great, Cole, but you can't discount the power of a simple, in-your-face offensive style. That's what's going to work for LA Knight in this match. Dijakovic retaliates. Oh. 
Looks like Dijakovic has taken the upper hand. Such a fiery look in Dijakovic's eyes right now. He got whipped into that corner. And he saw that coming from Knight. in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Climbing the turnbuckle now. From the top, catches nothing but a big four. Going right after the next textbook neckbreaker. It could be over here. This is it. And a kick out right away. I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole, his opponent included. for night. Ooh, he caught him right in the face. Left by the turnbuckles. Just like that, Dijakovic finds a counter. Punch right in the head. Up and down. Brutal. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Preparing to end this one. Up across the shoulders. Oh, Dijakovic on the cusp of ending it. Makes the cover. Two, three, three. And it's all from Shiro. These guys were awesome. Let's take another look. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. <laughs> the Messiah of the Backbreaker, ready to prove his worth on his own. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Tampa, Florida. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. Roderick has always fought to provide for his wife and his son. Roderick Strong is a force to be reckoned with every time the bell rings. Roderick Strong, success has gone through the roof. Well, I guess Roderick was willing to give up a part of himself to achieve success. It's amazing how easily it is to fill a hole in yourself with championship gold, Byron. It's a Lucha House Party. And his opponent, representing Lucha House Party from San Juan, Puerto Rico, 
weighing in at 168 pounds, Lindsay Dorado. Everyone in this match is competing at such a high level. I predict one of the most competitive matches we've seen in a very long time. A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight. Lindsay Dorado in action here. What's there to say about the Golden Lynx, Corey? My sources tell me Lindsay Dorado almost didn't make it here tonight. He was stuck in a tree and they had to call the fire department to get him down. These sources, Corey, are as fictional as Byron's girlfriend. I was expecting you to mention Lindsay's capabilities and how his confidence is growing, but nonetheless, Dorado looking to impress now. And then you have Roderick Strong. A superstar who is a true hard worker and has developed a wealth of in-ring knowledge. There's no cutting corners when you're squaring up with a competitor of his caliber. I have to say you're right. If you guys can say they put in the same hours as Strong has honing his craft, you don't become the messiah of the backbreaker overnight. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. Strong evades the attack. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal forearm. Butterflies the arms. Nice butterfly suplex. Big form. He's absorbed some damage already. Corey, what can you tell us about facing off against a superstar like Lindsay Dorado? Well, Lindsay Dorado will throw everything he has at you. The Golden Lynx is quick to the top rope and can close considerable distance with his flying attacks. Keeping Dorado off the top rope has to be priority number one. of nasty. Oh, that'll leave a mark. Uh-oh. Way up there. Neck breaker. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh, enough already. Oh, man, you can see he is feeling it now. From behind. Oh, no. Dangerous maneuver there. He's got him up high. The fallaway slam. He is just reeling from that offense. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Gotcha. What an attack from the Messiah of the Backbreaker. This could be it. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. Here is your winner, Roderick Strong! And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Oh, this is going to be good. Yes, welcome to Swerve's house. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring 
from Tacoma, Washington, weighing in at 201 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, Isaiah Swerve Scott. The unmistakable swag of Isaiah Swerve Scott on display. Uh, Byron, he has the talent to back it up. Saxon, why don't you learn from Swerve Scott? This guy is cool, man. Everything about him is cool. You should take notes. I thought I already had a cool factor. The swagger of Isaiah Swerve Scott has earned him love from the WWE Universe, but some say it borders on arrogance. Yeah, but when you're as good as Swerve is, you have to show it off. About to see great high-flying and striking hybrid offense. And his opponent, representing Imperium from South Tyrol, Italy, weighing in at 220 pounds, Fabian Eichner. The man who made his WWE debut in the Cruiserweight Classic, but in the years since, has added over 20 pounds of pure muscle since joining NXT and amazingly lost practically no speed. Indeed, an intense grappler who lives by the creed, the mat is sacred. And he appears he's ready to impose Imperium's will here tonight. You know, I read on social media that Eichner's the second Italian-born WWE superstar since Bruno Sammartino. The big Italian, Fabian Eichner in the ring. Now, such an athlete, Byron. Yeah, with such a powerful stature, we often forget about Eichner's eye-popping aerial ability. Now, everything Fabian Eichner does, he does with force, velocity, and confidence. It's made him quite the elite competitor. And if you want high-flying trouble, look no further than this man, Isaiah Swerve Scott. He's one of the most gifted, agile, and unpredictable competitors on the roster. Yeah, and before Scott arrived at WWE, he tore up the indie scene and made a name for himself as a top talent. I assure you, he's out to replicate that success here against the best superstars in the world. Aggressive work on that shoulder. him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Gosh. Enough already. Set up in the corner of the ring. First on the top rope. Come with me. One oh. quick C. He's getting a little batter now. There aren't many dents in the armor of Fabian Eichner, but how can he prevent his opponent from exploiting any weaknesses, Corey? But if Eichner can keep up his intensity and keep pressing his opponent, it'll be an arduous task to find any holes. Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Making that shoulder vulnerable. This might not have a pleasant ending. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. Oh! Right to the back. Well, oh, that'll turn your skin red. From behind. 
side. Back suplex. Uh-oh. Oh, that can dislocate something. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. This right now, sure we do. The more the merrier. These two are having a fantastic matchup. Oh, oh where is he? Face Buster plants him. Side kick on point. There's the heel kick. Ooh. We've seen that look before. Swerve in position. Smacker. To the side of the neck. Eigner is done. Pin. One, two. Kicks out. Just kicked out. I do not know how you survived that. Staying alive there is unheard of. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over. But you got to do a little more to finally finish this. in a compromised position. Snapmare. Oh, By Swerve Scott. Will Swerve take advantage? Two. Three. And Swerve with the victory. Nicely done. These superstars put on quite a show. Here's another look. They're not proud of that win. He was as on top of things as he could possibly be here tonight. And look how it paid off. The Spanish sensation. A top name in Europe ready to make a splash in NXT. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Madrid, Spain, weighing in at 154 pounds, A. Kid. A. Kid is well trained in grappling, striking, and high flying, and has already earned a great deal of success in NXT. And then where are his parents at? Leave him alone, Corey. Who gave A. Kid a passport? without adult supervision. This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check, but when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. He ended Walter's 870-day-long title reign. A seemingly impossible task made possible by focusing the rage within himself. Ilya Dragunov is a dangerous man. called 
bizarre of NXT. Right now, Ilya Dragunov looking to expand his power to all of WWE. Superstar Ilya Dragunov, the so called Mad Russian, who first made his name in NXT UK. Hmm. Interesting is one word for it. Dragunov's basically a living embodiment of intensity. He subscribes to the philosophy of Unbi Ziegbar, which basically means once he gets going, he considers himself invincible. That philosophy definitely makes him a formidable opponent. The key is can Dragunov control that intensity and maintain it for the duration of the match? And he's facing off against a kid who seems to rise to every challenge put in front of him. Well, even I'll admit, Saxton, a kid has an it factor. He's got strong mat skills, an aerial arsenal, and strikes that'll chop down any opponent. Boom! Before the fist drops on your face. Boom! Fist drop. Judo thrown into a DDT. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. Oh, double knee arm breaker. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Ilya Dragunov has such an incredible fighting spirit. Is that enough to bring him the victory? Absolutely, Cole. Dragunov leaves everything he has in the ring. And if he brings that intensity and ferociousness to bear, there aren't many superstars he can't find a way to defeat. Just breaking down the opponent. Two! Now oh, trampling the opposition. He's in, under the ropes. Waist lock, no, no! Belly to belly! My goodness! Standing moonsaults! He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Up so memorable. Here is your winner, A. Kid! What an emphatic victory, guys. No contest. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Yorktown Heights, New York, the NXT Women's Champion, Mandy Rose. Now, formerly God's greatest creation, right, Corey? That's right. But even the man himself makes mistakes. Oh, so judgmental, all because Mandy had a slight slip up at WrestleMania, Corey. You fell out of love with her? No doubt the highest profile win for Mandy Rose when she defeated her former partner, Sonya Deville, in a Loser Leaves WWE match at SummerSlam. Io Shirai, one of the best women high flyers in history. And from Tokyo, Japan, Io Shirai! Think about some of the accolades that Io Shirai possesses. She was a finalist in the Mae Young Classic and held the NXT Women's Championship for over 300 days. Incredibly impressive feat from a world-class competitor. The genius of the sky preparing to take flight. to work a high-octane, high-flying style. In fact, Shirai and many others even consider her an aerial artist. Just a reminder, what some call art, others consider falling with style. Shirai has a world of talent, but high-flying styles tend to come with a lot of high-risk consequences. That's a good point. We'll see how Shirai's particular style shakes out here in this matchup. And then you have someone like Mandy Rose. I mean, there's no one like Mandy Rose, but you know what I mean. Physically dominant from her strength to her looks. Yeah, man, he certainly has an understated, almost effortless approach to her strength and power game that you definitely do not see among many of her peers. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Oh, my goodness. The fatigue is setting in for her. Absolutely brutal. Ruthless. And hammering away. There it is. Snap suplex. Look at this. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Oh, oh, oh. Io Shirai, known to the WWE Universe as the genius of the sky. So, Corey, is it safe to assume the best strategy against her would be to take away that high-flying offense? Absolutely. If you can ground Shirai, you can take away a large part of her offense and some of her confidence. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Let's look back on the action from the last match. Here 
is your winner, Mandy Rose. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt-kicking. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat.